I don't only read creepy, scary books. I'm not crazy. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay. If you're new, thank you so much for watching this video. It means honestly so much to me. So today's video is going to be all about fall books. Fall is a really wonderful time to start reading if you guys aren't readers. If you are, it's the perfect time to just get cozy, sit down with a cup of coffee, and read your heart out. I love reading, especially like darker, scary mystery books. So I have five fall books that I want to share with you guys that are my favorite fall books. Again, like I said, they're very scary to read. Personally for me, I like twist endings and creepiness and realistic scary, not like boogeyman, there's a ghost in the house scary. Like I like realistic mystery murder type books. So I have five books I'm gonna share with you guys and let's go ahead and get started. So the first book that I have here for you guys is The Couple Next Door. This is kind of a smaller book and I read this book probably in less than two days. That's how much of a page turner this book is. Probably in the top ranking books that I've ever read, if not the best book that I've ever read. Like within the first chapter, it jumps right into the plot and it makes you wanna go and read the next chapter and then read the next chapter and then read the next chapter. Um, I could not put it down. I hate books that are just like long and drawn out. This book, there's millions of twists, not just at the end, in between. It's just, it's so good and you cannot put it down once you start. So I'm warning you now, if you have shit to do, don't start reading this book. Read this book when you have time. I can read you guys the back. Anne and Marco Conti seem to have it all. A loving relationship, a wonderful home, and a beautiful baby, Cora. But one night, when they are at a dinner party next door, a terrible crime is committed. Suspicion immediately falls on the parents, but the truth is much more complicated. What follows is the nerve-wracking unrevealing of a family. Detective Rashback knows that the panicked couple is hiding something inside the curtained house. Anne and Marco both soon discover that the other is keeping secrets, secrets they've been keeping for years. The shocking truth will leave you breathless, and I'm telling you, it will. It's so good, I really liked it. So I definitely recommend this, especially for like a fall scary book. So the second book that I have here, again, I've read in probably less than a week, and this is a pretty thick book, and that is Big Little Lies. And a benefit of reading this book is there's actually an HBO series about it right now, and I blew through that in about two or three days as well, and it follows the book pretty well. Even Stephen King liked it, so that's right here. It's basically about three girls that are kind of connected in this little town. There's like a something that goes on in the town and they somehow all are connected to what happens. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've been super sick, so I apologize for my voice. It says, a murder, a tragic accident, or just parents behaving badly. What's indisputable is that someone's dead. Madeline is a force to be reckoned with. She's funny, biting, and passionate. This is Madeline, Reese Witherspoon. She remembers everything and forgives no one. Celeste, Nicole Kidman, is a kind, beautiful woman who makes the world stop and stare, but she's paying a price for the illusion of perfection. New to town, single mom Jane, Shanley and Woodley, is so young that another mother mistakes her for a nanny. She comes with a mysterious past and a sadness beyond her years. These three women are at different crossroads, but they all wind up in the same shocking place. It's about ex-husbands, second wives, mothers, daughters, schoolyard scandal, and lies that can turn lethal. And this one, if you're not into the really deep, scary ones, I recommend because it's more of a mystery. It's not as scary, but it, there are some dark parts. I was obsessed with this. If you guys watched my vlogs, you guys probably saw the vlog where I literally read it, and the next time I talked to you guys, I was like, I'm done. Um, but it's so good. It's really a good book. So the third one is probably one of the scarier ones. I found this book last year at, in Target, I think. It was like a $7 book, so I don't know if it was like on the bestsellers list or what, but it was so good. This is another page turner and it starts pretty fairly early. It doesn't hold you until the end, like it starts pretty well off. The seller. So basically this one's about a girl that gets kidnapped by this guy who has like mental issues obviously, but he keeps like four girls or three girls at a time and he names each one of them like a flower. So it's pretty interesting, really scary. So it says, Lily, my stomach dropped as a tall dark haired man stepped into the view. Had he been hiding behind the trees? No, sorry, gulping. I took a step back. I'm not Lily. He shook his head, a satisfied grin on his face. No, you are Lily. I'm Summer, you have the wrong person, you utter freak. I could hear my pulse crashing in my ears. How stupid to give him my real name. 
He continued to stare at me, smiling. It made me feel sick. You are Lily, he repeated. Before I could blink, he threw his arms forward and grabbed me. I tried to shout, but he clasped his hand over my mouth, muffling my screams. My heart raced. I'm going to die. It's super scary, and it's a page turner. Kind of violent, um, so if you get scared easily, maybe go for Big Little Lies instead. But um, I really highly recommend this book. It's not expensive either. Um, it's really good. So the fourth book I actually just finished reading. I liked it, but it was a bit slow in the beginning. But once you get past kind of like the middle-ish area of the book, it gets super interesting and made my jaw drop. I wasn't expecting it. And that book is The Woman in Cabin 10. This one actually doesn't have something on the back that explains the book. It only has like quotes in the back of the book about people who've read it like Reese Witherspoon, Oprah, other people that I don't know. Basically about this girl who goes on a yacht and like kind of like a smaller yacht for work and she's supposed to be reviewing the yacht and the experience and it's like one of those yachts that like if you guys watch Bravo like below deck it's like where um, a few people go on it but it's not like a like a cruise ship like carnival or something and so she's like stuck with a few people I'm pretty sure there's like 10 or 12 of them um, and then as well as like the people on the crew and there's like this girl that she sees and then the girl like ends up disappearing and she thinks um, she witnessed the murder and then she tries to talk people into it but she's stuck on the boat doesn't have service all this stuff so it's super interesting there's lots of twists and turns and I really wasn't expecting what happened and like I said it's kind of slow in the beginning but it gets super super good and the ending was really scary to me honestly and I read it when I was alone one night and I really regretted it because it's kind of scary um but yeah I definitely recommend this I read this one pretty quickly as well so the last and final book that I have is the luckiest girl alive this one's actually becoming a movie <coughs> sorry but um, I think Reese Witherspoon, yeah, Reese Witherspoon is going to be in it. So I have a lot of Reese Witherspoon books. Her perfect life is a perfect lie. As a teenager at the prestigious Bradley School, Annie endured a shocking public humiliation that left her desperate to reinvent herself. Now with a glamorous job, expensive wardrobe, and a handsome blue blood fiance, she's this close to living the perfect life she's worked so hard to achieve. But Annie has a secret. There's something else buried in her past, something painful and private that threatens to bubble to the surface and ruin everything. With a singular voice and twist that you won't see coming, true. A girl whose cutthroat ambition has protected a scandalous truth and a heart that is much bigger than it appears. This question will remain. Will breaking her silence destroy all that she's worked for or will it at long set Annie free? This one's really, really good. I don't think you find out like what happened until like pretty far deep into the book, but it's a good build up. Um, I really, really liked this book. I'm excited to see it into a movie. It's scary, it's eerie. Like all these books that I have here are realistic. That's the scary part. Um, I like really creepy, scary books, especially for the fall time. Um, I don't only read creepy, scary books. I'm not crazy. I love all types of books. I'm actually reading Harry Potter right now. I'm actually getting quite obsessed with the books. Do you guys have any fall book recommendations? If you do, please let me know, especially self-help books. I have a ton of self-help books that I love. I could do my favorite self-help books if you guys wanna see that. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future for videos. I will definitely make them for you. And I'll see you guys all in another video soon. Bye guys.